For this video, we pick our favorite coffee documentaries that show the specialty coffee world from many different perspectives, and you can stream them right now. Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip, and in this video, I want to talk about our favorite ways of learning about coffee, watching great coffee documentaries. Unfortunately, there are not that many of them, but we picked six coffee documentaries, two of them have already sequel, so it's eight coffee films in total that we consider as essential watching material for any serious coffee lover. This time, you cannot watch them for free on YouTube, but we believe all of them are worth the investment. Plus, at the end of this video, we give you three extra tips for films and series that you might enjoy as well. Okay, let's start with the coffee documentary number one. Its name is The Way Back to Yaraskin and is the very first coffee documentary that I ever watched. It was back in 2013, I was living in Zurich, Switzerland and not only did I watch it, but I asked the director, Sarah Berger, to organize a public screening at the first third wave coffee shop in the city. The Way Back to Yaraskin is a 35 minute long documentary following a personal journey of Myra, who grew up in the coffee growing region of Santa Elena in Honduras. When I left um, to study to be a teacher was because I wanted to go back and teach in Santa Elena. Then she went to study in the US and the documentary follows her return to the homeland with an aim to improve the living conditions of her family and all coffee farms from the region by selling their quality coffee for high prices directly to the specialty coffee roasters in the US. The coffee was so good that it's if there was a chance that we could actually get it, we had to try to get it. What I love about this short film is that through a strong and moving personal story of Myra, we get an inside look into the challenges of small coffee farmers in the rural parts of the world. I think it's the most underrated and least known film from the list and I hope more people will watch it. Number two, a film about coffee. If you should pick this specialty coffee documentary, we need to pick a film about coffee that was produced and directed by Brenda Loper in 2014. Can you talk about the idea of specialty coffee versus commodity coffee? I mean, they're, they're two entirely different things. Brandon's aim was to create a love letter to specialty coffee and without doubt he accomplished that. It's 67 minutes of beautiful crafted commercial to specialty coffee that takes you to many places around the world. From coffee farms in Honduras and Rwanda to the best coffee shops in Tokyo, Seattle or San Francisco. Even today, I believe it's the most professional coffee movie out there. Besides beautiful images and scenes, you get to watch and listen to some of the coffee legends like Peter Giuliano, George Howell or James Freeman. If you need to explain to somebody why you are so excited about coffee, this is the perfect film. Number 3. Caffeinated Caffeinated is a documentary that wants to give a coffee lover a complete insight into the whole coffee supply chain, from the coffee farm to the bag or cup of coffee at home. Coffee has been valued since the beginning for its stimulant effect, but it is so much more than that. It was filmed and directed by Vishal Solanki and Han Nguyen, who spent several years traveling, filming and then editing to finally release the film in 2015. After filming in the main U.S. cities, capturing coffee consuming culture, they followed Jeff Watts. Once we start to look, we peel back the curtain. A well-known green coffee buyer to many coffee origins to bring the inside from the coffee producing world as well. The theme of this film is every cup of coffee has a story and you will find many stories in 80 minutes of this film. It's a well-researched and well-produced coffee documentary. I don't think you will regret watching it. We had a blast when we screened it in Brno with Vishal. Number four, barista. For most people, being a barista is a temporary job, something to do when studying or preparing for a career. But there are people who choose it as a profession. Some of them go as far as compete to be the best barista of the country or the world. Barista documentary directed by Rock is their tribute. It follows five top US baristas when preparing for the US National Barista Championship. There's a lot of pressure. Your adrenaline is so high that I kind of blacked out. In 104 minutes, filmmakers take you behind the scenes of life of professional baristas. They show their challenges and insecurities, but also an endless passion for coffee these talented people possess. Number five, baristas. 
In 2017, the filmmakers around the director Rock decided to take a step further and film four professional baristas on a journey to become not the national, but the world barista champion in Seoul, South Korea. So, you want to be a world champion barista. With a better knowledge of the competition world, they picked international baristas from the US, Germany, Ireland and Japan and they followed them closely during the preparation and also in Seoul. If nothing, you need to watch the trial. It's epic. The documentary is professionally produced and beautiful. It combines funny moments with dramatic situations. We could only wish that one of the protagonists become the world barista champion at the end. Number 6. The Coffee Man The Coffee Man is easily our favorite coffee documentary. It follows Sasa Sestich on a journey of becoming the world barista champion in 2015. I've been competing now for six years. I compete because of what happens here at the farms. Filmmakers Jeff Hahn and Roland Fravel started to film with Sasha back in Australia, but they followed him also to Ethiopia or Honduras, where Sasha hunted the best coffees possible for his customers at Ona Coffee, but also for the championship. Sasha's dedication to coffee is contagious, and you will watch him taking all the steps necessary to becoming the best in the role. This relationship between a farmer and consumer plays a very important role. It's 85 minutes of wild coffee ride. Number 7. Coffee Heroes Director Jeff Hahn didn't want to finish collaboration with Sasha as the coffee man, so he started to work on the sequel of the film, following Sasha as the champion and mentor. A new coffee documentary, Coffee Heroes, shows Sasha in a new role as a coach of the aspiring barista champions. Together, they visit Ethiopia to pick the best coffee possible for the competition. They train, practice to aim for the championship title in Amsterdam. The film takes you behind the scene of the barista competition in a way that you feel like sitting in the room. It's unpolished, it's rough, it's fun, it's real. You can see the Polish barista, Anieszka Rojewska, becoming the first female world barista champion. The film has just been released to the film festival circuit and you can watch it online at the end of October 2020. Number 8. Shade Grown Coffee Shade Grown Coffee is a feature documentary debut from Danish filmmaker and travelers Alexander and Victoria. They packed a lot of information and beautiful scenes into 70 minutes of their film. They visited and interviewed an impressive number of coffee producers in Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Panama, Jamaica and Ethiopia. With the help of coffee collectives team in Copenhagen, they got insight into the sourcing and buying green coffee, roasting and serving it to the consumers in a transparent way. You got to see a lot and learn a lot in a calm and subtle way by watching beautiful nature and animals. You get to see how growing coffee in the shades of native trees can have a truly positive impact on local communities, halt deforestation and protect critical habitat for wildlife. Now I want to share three extra bonus material that somehow doesn't fit the main category but I think can be interesting for you. Bonus number one, Silicon Valley Baby. It's a documentary that follows Finnish barista champion Kale Frese on a journey of conquering the startup world in Silicon Valley with the specialty instant coffee product called Sudden Coffee. It's not exactly a documentary about coffee, but a deep personal look into the life of an ambitious coffee person. We interviewed the director, Erika Havisto, who was Kale's girlfriend and wife during filming. The documentary was set to film festivals in 2020, but I hope we can watch it online soon. Bonus number two, Dangerous Grounds. This, as you can tell, looks like rotten back teeth. The fruit was never pulled off and let it dry in the sun. And what you're gonna find inside here... It's a TV series that follows Todd Carmichael, the founder and CEO of La Colombe Coffee, hunting coffee for his business in many coffee producing regions in the world. Even if you don't like TV series or Todd style, you get a chance to learn a lot about coffee in this series. Bonus number three, AirPress Movie. Some of you know we produce a documentary too. And I made something like this. In 2018, we released the AirPress Movie that is revealing the story of the AirPress, from its inventor's workshop in California to the stages of the AirPress Championship around the world. 
If you love the AirPress and you haven't seen the film yet, now is the good time to do it. You can use a promo code YouTube50 at the checkout to get a 50% discount. Okay, that's all for now. Let us know in the comments if you missed any good coffee documentary on our list. Also, if you know a great coffee story, a story that is worth capturing as a documentary film, we'll listen to your suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video and I'm looking forward to see you in the next video very soon. Thank you, bye bye.